Good evening. Uh, in today's video, I'll be continuing with my personal top 100. Um, and uh, today's album is B-1000 by Guided by Voices. This is my copy here. I recently purchased this. Um, this is a repress. It's a nice gatefold to it. All the lyrics are inside there. Nice pictures. Um, pressing it, I mean, it's just a black vinyl, nothing special, but it's pretty cool. Um, got about voices amongst my favorite out bands ever. Um, this was the first record I ever heard by them. Um, my first uh, taste of got about voices when I had heard of them and I picked up the I Am a Scientist uh, EP, CD EP. Um, which was awesome. It was enough to like lure me in. So then I went and bought the CD for the B thousand, you know, and uh, turned out they were coming here, touring that, and they were getting uh, ready to actually release Alien Lanes, which was just about. It came out just like maybe a month or so after I saw them here. So it was uh, it was pretty cool. The show was endless. It was so. So awesome. It was uh, Robert Pollard was drinking a beer between every song, which was pretty crazy since every song was about a minute long at that point. Um, pretty insane, but awesome fun. Um, B thousand itself, I mean, is amazing. It's it sounds like Beatles demos or something. I mean, it. Uh, uh, the, I think the, um, I believe it's Gold Harp Mountain Top Queen Directory. There's a section in there that makes me think of Bowie a little bit. All of it sounds like your classic rock, you know, stuff. Um, obviously, Robert Parlard is very uh, inspired by that. Um, and that's what he wanted it to sound like. Um, interesting, this was almost their final record because they had uh, been together for another... They'd done six records before this, apparently. Um, never getting any real attention um, and apparently this was less professional than the earlier ones they did because they just did this on a four track in their basements as opposed to slightly more professional stuff they did earlier on um, so they were really just doing what they wanted to do they didn't want to blow a lot of money if they weren't gonna continue I guess so you know financially they weren't doing great they weren't getting anywhere at a time but then they did this and you know they started getting some attention next thing you know they're they're touring they're getting lots of uh, mentions in all the big magazines like spin and rolling stone they get to sign a matter of records and uh, now you know 26 years later they're still rocking still going not exactly as the same band but still robert pollard and and his his uh merry band of men i guess um so, I mean, to me, I don't know that if anything I can say about this record would do it justice. Um, I'm sure lots has been said. Um, there's even a uh, 33 and a third book dedicated to the record, which I have. Um, if you're interested, uh, I would recommend picking that up. The whole, all the 33 and a third series of books are cool. Um, very, very interesting, uh, well done stuff. Um, but for me, yeah, this is just, I keep coming back to this and I, I, I mean, I know a ton of people, a ton of artists have covered songs off of this record, particularly I've noticed. I think Death Cab for Cutie and a few other bands have done these songs. Um, I, there was, I think there was even a uh, tribute album, but and it wasn't all B-1000, but it was, you know, Guided by Voices tunes. Um, so, I mean, their influence is uh, pretty heavy. Um, in the bands that followed them that, that honestly became quite a lot bigger, you know, but, um, so to me, this is like, again, there's a reason why I picked it as one of my top 100 albums. Um, uh, it, it just, I think also, aside from the fact that it, it's, it's a phenomenal album on its own, it seemed to start a run of great albums followed by Alien Lanes and they did, uh, um, under the Bushes, Under the Stars, Matt Gearwick, a whole bunch. I think it was six or seven in a row, and they were all like phenomenal, phenomenal albums. So this really kind of took them from the underground into, you know, slightly more mainstream. Not quite mainstream, but more popular. 
and the, the material that they put out was just just amazing so um, that is why um, this is on my list of top 100 and I think that if you I, if you're like if you're like me you probably already own this or have the CD or have listened to it a lot on uh, streaming services or whatever it is but um, uh, I think if you haven't heard it, it was, it's certainly a good lesson uh, it's it's an important record I would say so anyway, if you enjoy this uh, type of video you can like and subscribe and I will see you next time.